I'm Al McFarland. Welcome to Conversations with Al McFarland. We do. And so how do we do that? We, we start by some basic premises in talking about the Constitution of the United States. Um, you would be surprised at the number of people um, in the general population that don't even know the Bill of Rights. Um, you'd be even more surprised at the number of law enforcement individuals who are supposed to be protecting and serving that great document that have no clue uh, or have a limited clue of what is, what is in that document. Um, and, and so uh, a great deal of that, that time that we, and energy that we spend with them is to reacquaint them with, with that great and sacred document that has been used as a two-edged sword both for and against black people. Um, and so we, we cause people to, to think critically about that. Um, my father was a, a Black Panther in the 60s, um, was saved by God's grace in the 70s, and became a, a, a Pentecostal preacher. And within that, trans, that, that transition, one of the things that uh, became very clear to me was that we have a moral imperative and a social imperative simultaneously to have critical conversations about the liberation of people. Um, what we know about freedom is that freedom is contextual. Freedom is a condition of membership to an organized body or to a nation state. However, liberty is without borders. Liberty is without uh, constraints. And so all too often, people are seeking freedom when they should be seeking liberty. And so as we, as we move forward, and, we, and I see the young people laying down in 35W, stopping traffic, and I see um, uh, malls being shut down on Black Friday, I get excited because the revolution continues. And one of the things that young people are learning today is that um, the revolution can have no head. There can be no board of directors for the revolution that is happening, because we know what happens when there is a hierarchy, when there is a system that, that organizes these things, um, that, that gets, uh, the head gets cut off, it gets dismembered, it, it becomes a, a disembodied spirit. And so I'm, I'm so excited to see that uh, there are young people on the ground doing this work. Thank you.